So, uh, as always, we have some thanking God for the message, and we have some criticizing the message. One man said, you're wrong about Jew and Gentile. He said, I remember, one fellow said, I remember what you said, that your black stinking flesh is not worth anything. I guess that include you. Yes. Amen. This dust right here, yes, ain't worth nothing. Amen. Until God says this, all flesh is grass. You better read that. In the book of Isaiah chapter 40. I want this to be for you that think you're something. Mm -hmm. I want to give you a, an, an emergency news flash. Mm -hmm. You're not. That's right. I want to show you what your flesh is worth. That's right. Hear me good now. Isaiah chapter 40 and we're now at you verse can brag 6. brag about you came out the same tribe that uh, King Heli Selassie came out of. What do I care? What is that? You can come out of Judah, Reuben, hmm. Issachar, Gad, any of them. That's right. But look at what your flesh is worth. Isaiah chapter 40 and we're at verse 6. And believe me, when God talk, everybody got to hear. Oh, yes. Hear me good. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 6. What is it? The voice said cry. Yeah. Hmm. That don't mean boo-hoo. <laughs> that mean uh, start speaking. That's right. God be my helper. That's what I'm determined to do. Oh, yes. Keep crying loud. Loudly. Thank God until he calls havoc all over the world. <laughs> havoc. See people protesting in the street, yelling. <laughs> they doing that now. Yes. Yelling all because of the truth of God. I thank God for that. That's right. And my travel around the world, I have all type of religious visitors and Hebrew Israelites and Muslims and Unbelievers and antichrists and Scientologists. <laughs> yes, I have all of them come here. That's right. And many times when I'm in the front greeting people, they tell me what they are and what they're not. Hmm. I have many men that are atheists, don't believe in God. So they say, they make comments when they hear the message. And some, many men said, well, I'm an atheist, but... He's the only preacher I listen to. <laughs> One man said, I've been an atheist all my life. But hearing this message that Pastor Jennings is preaching is making me second guess. I'm starting to think different. That's what God will do. That's right. God will do it. Listen at the Bible. Isaiah 40 and verse 6. What is it? The voice said, cry. Cry. And he said, what shall I cry? What should I say to the people? All flesh. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Hmm. The Lord of heaven declared to the prophet. All flesh. You tell the people this. All flesh. How much? All flesh. All flesh is grass. All and what else? And all the goodliness thereof. All the goodliness thereof. Is as the flower of the field. Is as the flowers of the field. The grass withereth. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? The grass withereth. The grass. Soon wither. The flower fadeth. The, foul, the flower fadeth away. Because the Spirit of the Lord. Because the Spirit of God. Bloweth upon it. Glory to God. Surely. Blows upon it. Surely. The people. The people. Is grass. Now that's why I talk like I do. That's right. When I say I don't care about your color. I don't really care what you think of me. Do you hear this? That's right. I'm speaking the words of God. That's right. What did he say? The voice said, cry. What? Give Go. chapter and verse again. Isaiah. I want you that are here mm -hmm. and you that are listening around the world that thank you so much. That's right. I've been telling you by the grace of God. That's right. Long time. Long time. You're nothing. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Black man, white man, you're nothing. Nothing. That's right. The only one that got you walking this planet mm -hmm. is the God that I preach about. That's right. That's the only one. That's right. 
You're nothing. You're nothing. Whether you are Elamite or African, you're nothing. That's right. Whether you are Arab or Portuguese, you're nothing. Amen. What the Bible said, your worth. The voice said, cry. You know, God, he knows how to show us our how place. You. That's right. Folks, thank they so much because you got several million dollars and got a mansion and got a yacht. Listen, I don't care what you drive. Mm -mm. When you die, somebody else going to drive where you left off. That's right. That's right. Hey, man, your wife, give your suits away or give them to the Salvation Army or your sons lay claim on them. Amen. Hey, man, somebody else wear your shoes and. Somebody else use your hand to, hand to give and even use your comb. That's right. Huh? That's right. When my father died, I believe, 33 years ago now. Hmm. He would always prepare his clothes the night before for mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. But God interrupted that plan. Oh, yes. God came and he wasn't laying around sick at all. Laying in bed talking to my mother that night. And my mother stepped out the room, just used the bathroom, come back, got back, in, got back in bed and pick up the conversation where she left off mm -hmm. and noticed my father wasn't answering. So she thought he fell to sleep. Amen. So she shook him. Ernest, do you hear me? He lay back, he lay on his back and had his hands Laying on his chest like this. This was a common way he slept. She said, shook him again. Ernest, do you hear me? Well, the grass was there. That's right. That's all. It was just a lump of grass. That's it. So she put us here, her hand where his mouth and nose was, didn't feel nothing. So she jumped out of bed mm. and started really shaking him. God came just that quick. She went to the bathroom, came back, and she was talking to the dead and didn't know it. Amen. I want everybody in the world Go ahead, Go ahead. to hear the message of holiness. That's it. There's one supreme power. That's all. And Jesus Christ is he. That's right. There's one. That give life. Oh, yes. There's one that grants death. That's right. Satan have thoroughly infiltrated all religions. Oh, yes. And made religious people think mm -hmm. they are more than what God made them. That's right. That's right. Klu Klux Klan for years. White supremacy. White supremacy, white supremacy. Blacks come along, black power, black power. <laughs> Everybody got it wrong. Everybody. You hear me? Everybody. Everybody. Got it wrong. That's right. The only one that is all powerful oh, is God himself. That's right. All flesh is grass. All flesh. Come on back. Come on back to Bible. That's right. I'm talking to a Hallelujah. field of grass a today. Field of grass. That's right. Look at the different color blades of grass we got in here. That's right. I see brown and white and dark brown and yellow and mm -hmm. amen, butterscotch and Amen. All type of colors. All types. But the Bible says. All flesh is grace. You can call yourself Pentecostal, non-denominational, Episcopalian, Hebrew, Israelite, Nation of Islam, Sunni, Muslim, Shiite, 5 percenters, 3 percenters, 2 percenters, 4. That's right. 8 percenters, 20 percenters. Amen. Pentecostal, apostolic. Amen. You know what you are? Grace. The voice said cry. What? The voice said cry. And I'm going to cry it loud. And I don't care who don't like it. That's right. There's a commandment here. The voice said cry. God showed the world. Go ahead, man. The creatures are not greater That's than right. the creator. That's right. That's right. Every creature knows his place. Oh, yes. 
every creature. God made the beasts of the field, mm -hmm. fowls of the air, fish of the sea. Oh, yes. Everything knows their place. That's right. And everything functioned according to the way God made it. That's right. But the moment God made man, <laughs> you don't see God repenting for none of his creation. No. But after he made man. That's right. God Almighty said in the scriptures that it repented God. That's right. It repented God. And it repented the Lord. Listen at this. Now in the book of Genesis, we'll start at verse 5. Says what? And God saw Give the Give chapter and verse. Genesis chapter 6. And we're starting at verse 5. Follow me. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great God in the earth. God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And it's still great. Still great. Yeah, hard head, stubborn, That's three right. and four wife, lover, living together, not married, smoking, drinking, <laughs> drinking, and then want to brag you God's child. <laughs> Amen. You a piece of grass that God is waiting to cut. That's right. Huh? That's right. He want to cut that sin out of your hand. Amen. All right. And God saw that the wickedness of God man saw that the wickedness was, of man great, in was the great in the earth. And that every imagination, every imagination of the thoughts of his heart, of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. That's the way it is now, isn't it? Oh, yes. Only evil. The very imagination of the people. That's right. Every imagination. One man wrote me and said, I imagine what is like killing you every day. My Lord, my Lord. Then he said he watched me all the time. <laughs> Isn't that something? That is something. He said he imagined killing me every day in so many different forms and so many different ways. My Lord, my Lord. Because of what I'm preaching. Mm. Because we are preaching God's eternal word right. and making it firm. That's right. Solid. Solid. No flexibility. No way out. <laughs> no, no. No way out for nobody. That's right. That's right. And because I don't talk the talk, that society wish I would talk. <laughs> Amen. They say I mean. Mean. I'm rebellious. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> God sent me to preach what's written. That's it. Not what I think, what I suppose. That's right. But what's written. That's it. And when I see the many thousands everywhere I go, waking up, hmm. the Bible is my lawnmower. Yes, it is. Because all flesh is grass. All flesh is and grass. And some, some grass get long. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Get wild. Amen. Tangled up. Amen. Thank God. God, so I get in behind, I don't get in front of, I get behind the scriptures. That's right. And use the lawnmower of the scriptures everywhere I go. Everywhere. So I can cut down the grass. That's right. Everything that's not like God, mm -hmm. cut it down. Cut it down. But Pastor Jenny, I don't agree with you. I don't care. You better agree with the Bible. That's right. Get me out the picture. That's Too true. many folk want to bring me in the picture. He thinks he's somebody. No, I don't think I'm somebody. I'm, I'm grass too. Grass too. I'm just a preaching piece of grass. That's it. And I'm a reading piece of grass. You're a reading piece of grass. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Hey, listen. That's right. This is the grass church That's right. of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Huh? Amen. This is the grass church That's right. of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. Listen at this now. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Yes. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. All right. And it repented the Lord. It, listen. It grieved the Lord. It repented the Lord. The Lord was sorry. That he had Not that he done wrong. No. But he seen how man changed. That's right. Because man at one time was upright. Upright. Because he was made in God's image. Amen. So man's character, as well as his shape, reflect God. That's it. Until sin and iniquity was found in him. That's right. Listen. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on that the earth. It repented the Lord. Can you imagine? That's something. 
that God repent for something. It repented the Lord. It repented the Lord. That he and what made, was he repenting for? That he had made man on the earth. All right, and Mr. It grieved man. Him. What? It grieved him. You see what you're doing, mister? That's right. That's right. That's why you hear me declaring the word of God so loud, Amen. so strong, so bold. That's right. Hallelujah. It grieved God then, and now look at you. That's right. Your hard head thing, hard. you're robbing, you're stealing, you're killing. Oh, yes. For what? Amen. All that gives the devil satisfaction. That's it. God didn't make you for that. No. God didn't make you to rape an 11 year old girl and you 45. That's right. That's right. God didn't make you to sodomize a 15-year-old boy and you 50. No way. No, no. God didn't make you to carjack nobody. That's right. And God didn't make no one to praise your flesh. That's right. He said what through the prophet? And it repented the Lord that he had all oh, flesh. All oh, flesh. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Good. Back in Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 6. All oh, flesh. Is grass. All flesh. All of you. All of it. That's why I don't think nobody flesh is better than nobody. All nobody. That, that no, right. absolutely nobody. All nations before him. Le, le, hear, hear, hear this. Isaiah chapter 40 and we're at verse 17. I'm going to keep my mind just like his mind. That's it. Huh? That's right. And look at the world the way he look at it. <laughs> That's right. Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 17. What is it? All nations before him. All nations before him and that him is God. Are as nothing. All nations. How much? All nations. All, All nations. nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted to him. And they are counted to him. Less than nothing. Less than nothing? Less than nothing. To you that think you're something, you're so much. Mm -hmm. That's why so many cults is out here. Right. The people think the leader that they have. That's right. Is more than what he is. That's right. So they elevate him to godhood. That, that's right. That's right. Don't they? Yes, they do. They either elevate him to godhood mm -hmm. or they elevate him to be the Messiah. That's right. Or they elevate him to be Moses. That's true. That's right. That's right. It ain't no man. No hear man. me. Good. Go ahead, In man. the 20th century, 21st, 19th, <laughs> 18th, right. 17th, 16th. That's right. Go all the way back. Oh. Nobody outside of Jesus mm -hmm. is the Messiah. He's the Messiah. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. That's right. Nobody outside of Moses is Moses. That's right. And truly nobody outside of the God of heaven Amen. is God. Amen. Someone say you're wrong there. Let's get the book of Psalms. Book of I Psalms. know what the internet is about to say now. About to say it. I know what they're about to quote this scripture. Somebody going to post it. That's right. You are God. And I'm going to take it apart and break it down and still show you you're nothing. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. Hear me good. Hear me good. Mm. You know, I love uh, to be able to take the Bible apart. That's right. So the Bible put man back in his old wretched place. <laughs> That's right. Hear me, God. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. What is it? I have said ye are gods. I have said ye are gods. And all of you. All of you. Are children. Are children. Of the Most High. When the Bible says ye are gods, that don't mean you're equal to the Almighty. No. That don't mean you're just like the Almighty. No. The Almighty don't sin, don't smoke, don't drink, don't gamble. That's right. The Almighty ain't chasing women. <laughs> no. And the Almighty ain't funny. No. Am I right? That's right. That's right. Not at all. Not at all. So when a book says ye are gods, gods. that simply means the way God made man. That's it. God made man in his image. His image. God made man in his likeness. Mm -hmm. To reflect God, shape God, form God, fashion, and to take on the characteristics of God right. that he may walk according to the instructions that God laid in the scriptures. That's it. You walk around here and brag you God. I have said you are gods. Yeah, and you find religion. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm God. Yeah. Look at the title you got. And you're cussing people out. Cussing. That's right. Look That's at right. the title you got. Drinking beer. God yeah. drinking beer. <laughs> Amen. 
A Amen. whiskey drinking God. Right. A pot smoking God. That's right. That's right. Hmm? I have said you're God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give chapter and verse again. Psalms 82 and at verse 6. Listen at this. I have said I you are God. I have said you are And all of you are children. All of you are children. Of the most high. But what? But ye shall die like men. God don't die. No. The God of heaven. Well, Pastor Jen, did you preach Jesus Christ is God. Mm -hmm. The spirit that was in him was God. That's and it. God didn't die. The son of God or the Messiah that died. That's it. That body of flesh and blood that Mary birthed, mm -hmm. that God, that died, that and died. God, the Spirit, was in that body. That's just it. like God, the Spirit, is in the church. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. I have said ye are gods. Ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. And look at you. Amen. You get caught up in preachers. Mm. The preachers today. They get so caught up in themselves. That's right. You wouldn't think that Jesus ever walked earth. That's true. That's you true. viewers get this now. That's right. Are you in a cult today? Mm. Amen. See, as your preacher <laughs> give you permission to take each other wives. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, to your preacher give permission. That's right. For the men to sleep with men. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, do the preacher. You know they're doing this now. Yes, they are. Two and three and four and five wives. That's right. And uh, here it is. We know when I was coming up, before I was born, mm -hmm. many old timers before me can identify with what I'm talking. Mm -hmm. There was a renowned false prophet in America. They called him Sweet Daddy Grace. Amen. The house of prayer for all people. It was really the house of prayer for all devils. That's right. Thousands upon thousands yeah. of people taken advantage of. He declared he was the reincarnation of Christ. My Lord. Father divine. Hmm. He declared he was God almighty. My Lord, my Lord. God don't drive a car. No. God is everywhere. That's right. I ain't read where God is short and bald headed. <laughs> That's right. That's right. God don't do that. No. And when you came into his churches, there was a big picture of him, mm -hmm. and you had to touch the picture and say, Peace, Father. My Lord. My Lord. When you find people, mm -hmm. say, I ain't going to let nobody get caught up in me. No. That's why I don't allow nobody to put no honor on me. That's not do me. Get it off. That's right. Get it off. The Bible said, let not man think no higher than he ought to think, but, to but think, think soberly. 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 That's right. I ain't going to let nobody try to quote no scripture and put me in there. And that scripture only talking about <laughs> Jesus. No, sir. That's right. No, no, no not no. at all. Oh, no. I'm fine in my place. That's right. It's hard enough in my place. Amen. Psalms 39 and at verse 5. Listen at this. Behold. A real man of God won't let you put him above God. No way. And will not let you make him equal to God. That's right. Hear this. Psalms 39 and at verse 5. Follow me. Behold, thou hast made my days as an handbreadth. Thou hast made my days. As an handbreadth. As a handbreadth. And mine age is as nothing before thee. My age. Is Amen. nothing before God. Verily, every man. Holy to God. Amen. Verily, every man. Every man. At his best state. At his best state. Is altogether vanity. Every man. How plain is this? That's right. How plain is this? Verily, every man. That goes for every man in here. That's right. Every that goes man. for every man that are listening. That's right. That got all the prophets. Amen. That got all the apostles. Every that man. got every man walking the earth today. That's right. The word of God says. Verily every verily, man. Verily which means truly. Truly. Every man. At his best state. At his best state. Is altogether vanity. Every man. Every man. Every man. Every man. Every man. Did you hear this? Verily every man. That got Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and right. Esau, amen, and amen, Dan and Gad and Isaiah and Ezekiel. Thank God, all of them. All of them. 
Every man. Every man. Every man. Every man. At his best state. You see how the Bible put man back in his place? That's right. You old high-minded, hell-bound, exalted things out there. That's you right. You might as well come on off your throne. Amen. And come right back to the Bible. That's it. And recognize the fact only one is on the throne. That's it. And Christ is he. That's right. That's one. Verily, every man at his God best don't, state. Listen, God's throne is not made for multiple figures. <laughs> no. No. Not God's throne. Not God's throne. That's right. Amen. Amen. I have somebody to write me. I noticed. They said, I noticed it. in your headquarters church, the chair you sit in, sit in is not like the churches I'm used to seeing. I'm used to seeing the bishop. Oh, his, his chair is almost a throne. Right. Thrones are for kings. I'm not a king man. No. I'm a servant. That's right. That's right. I'm just a servant. That's right. You men out here. Amen. Who want to put yourself as Lord. As Lord. Over God inheritance. That's right. God sends a preacher to lead the people to him. That's it. Lead the people to God. Mm -hmm. Not to lead the people to theology, mm -hmm. ideology, philosophy. That's right. My job is to lead you to God by scripture. First Peter chapter 5 and at verse 3. Says what? Neither is being Lord. You better begin at verse 1. Uh, first Peter chapter 5 will start at verse 1. Says what? The elders which are among you I exhort. The elders which are among you I exhort. Who am also an elder. I am also an elder. And a witness of the I'm sufferings of Christ. I'm a witness of, of the sufferings of Christ. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Yes. Feed the flock of God. There. Here. Do you see this? That's it. This is the job of the preacher. That's right. Feed, feed the, the flock, flock of God. Of God. Which is the among flock you. of God. Look at the titles of the church. Yes. Flock, grass, God's people. Mm -hmm. One man. That's right. One new man. One new man. That's God's people. That's right. Listen. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Feed the flock of God that's among you. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. Look out for them. That's not it. Not by force. That's it. Hear me, people. That's it. Is your preacher looking out for you, or is he looking out for his, your wallet? Amen. That's all these things care about, how much money you can give him. That's it. That's why there's things he will not preach against, because he can't get rich from it. Amen. Amen. I know God is a healer. Oh, yes, I do. Right. But we ain't got to hire nobody to pretend <laughs> if God don't heal you, you will be the way you are. Oh, yes. Sick or dead. That's right. Or dying. Or dying. Or waiting on God to deliver you. That's right. Listen at this. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Feed the flock of God that's among you. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. Not by constraint. But willingly. What? But willingly. Willingly. So... If you're willingly doing it, Willing. don't pay him. That's right. Don't you give these false prophets another dime. Not for filthy lucre. Let them go get a job and go to work. That's right. I don't care if they got the stern hot dogs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You people send your pastor children to the best schools in the country. Amen. If you got that money where you can send his school, his children, to the best schools, then won't you send your own? That's right. Let him get a job or go to work or let him die broke and go to hell. That's right. I know many of you don't like this because I'm cutting into your pay. Oh, yes. I'm going to do that. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Do you hear this? Feed the flock of God which is among you. Feed him. Amen. Feed, Feed him. That's it. Had a man write me and say, you're the first preacher I ever heard of that worked. <laughs> he said, the church I came from, our preacher don't work. Lord. None of the preachers, a lot of these preachers don't believe in working today. No. Mm -mm. Bible says work with your own hands. own hands. But these men, the only work they do with their own hands is pick your pockets. <laughs> That's right. They steal with their own hands. That's right. Do you hear what I'm telling you? Feed the flock of God which Feed is among you. Feed the flock of God with that's among you. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. And what? But willingly. Willingly. Not for filthy lucre. Hmm. Don't do it for money. But of a ready mind. The Bible says not for, for filthy, lucre. filthy lucre. Don't do it for money. That's right. That's why some men get a church, or rather they say they're a preacher. Mm -hmm. They just go from church to church, oh, yeah. run revivals, so they can collect offering all week long. That's right. 
That's right. You dumb, ignorant, hell-bound, devil-deceived followers. Look at these men that come in your church and want, run a weak revival so his pockets can get thicker. That's right. That's right. And he tell you nothing but feel-good messages. Feel good. Like Daniel in the lion's den. Yeah. Meshach, Shadrach, and the Bendigo. Amen. Noah's uh, Job suffered with boils. <laughs> <laughs> he don't break up no remarriage and divorce, no, no live no, together, no. not married. Mm -hmm. He don't tell you there's one way to God. You got to repent. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You have to have the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues. No. And the Spirit of God give others. He don't preach against nothing That's right. that work in your favor. That's right. You just give you slogans. You can't lose with the stuff I use. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bunch of slogans. Amen. And they called that church this mess. Mm. And that's what it is. This mess that is out here today Amen. don't represent God at all. They no. can sing about Jesus, jump about Jesus. You can look at on the Internet. You can look at anywhere. This, the, the churches are gone wild. Yes, Church, they are. You know, years ago, it used to be commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be commercials. It used to be commercials on TV, girls gone wild. That's right. <laughs> well, what they should say is church is gone wild. Amen. This junk ain't church. It's junk. Why, you got to be a devil deceived fool Amen. to think this mess. This trash, yeah. this garbage, oh, yeah. this circus is church. Amen. That stuff today is not church. No way. Yeah, man. People just all doing the twerking, all in the pulpit. Yes, they are. Amen. Shaking all in the pulpit. They're all doing all type of steps and doing the worm all on the floor. That's right. Supposed to be church. Supposed to be church. Hey man, got Kirk Franklin singing up there. Just a no more save that a dog got five legs. That's right. All this junk ain't no, no church. No way. God says, My house shall be called a house of prayer. For all people. For all people. For all people. That's right. Four and five and six wife churches. That's that right. That mess is not no church. No way. That's a club at its best. <laughs> Amen. They having nothing but an orgy with, bi with Bible. That's right. That's all they're doing. It. That's all they're doing. That's it. That's why they so upset with me. <laughs> one preacher got so mad. Me preaching on the one wife stand. He, uh, he spoke out against me. He said, all you got is one wife. All the women you got in church, you should marry some more. That's all right. I parked my car in a very well garage. Amen. I'm satisfied. Satisfied. Wonderful. Wonderful. They're no good Paul Pitt Bible carrying bums. Bums. That's what they are. Amen. Anytime these men are married, like one preacher who's been yelling about me, now he stole one of the brothers of his church, of his synagogue or temple, whatever he called it, <laughs> wives, and he married her. Mm. And the brother left from under him. Mm. They are nothing but pimps. That's it. That's right. And these preachers coerce you. Oh, yes. They use the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. When they had concubines and multiple wives. Right. And they say, that's the way we do it now. That's not, not since Jesus came not, here. Not since Jesus oh, came. no, the Messiah broke that stuff up. That's right. Give me the 10th chapter, chapter of the, the book, book of Mark. Mark. That's right. I want this to be good in case I got any pimps here. <laughs> Amen. Say Mark chapter 10. We'll I'm going to knock one. you off your platform shoes. That's right. Right down to Bible. That's right. Mr. Grass. Amen. Mr. Grass. Mr. Grass. This is your cutting. That's it. Huh? St. Mark chapter 10. Yeah, man. Yeah, point. man. Hear yeah, good? Amen. Come on, son. St. Mark chapter 10. We're at the first verse. What is it? And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. They say you only can have one wife in your church. It ain't my church. No. No. I ain't die for you. <laughs> no. Even though you may want me dead, I ain't die for you. No. Ain't no need to talk about the Messiah if you're not going to respect what he stands for. That's right. 
That's right. One greater than Moses came here. Oh, yes. And if you don't obey him to hell, you going. That's it. All right. St. Mark chapter 10, when we're at verse 1. What is it? And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. Real quick. By the farther side of Jordan, and the people resort unto him again. And then we'll get the 19th chapter of Matthew. Matthew. Real quick. And as he was one, he taught them again. Yes. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? Yeah, that's what these men want now. Yeah. yeah they want to get rid of their wives because, you know, some yeah. of their wives are just crazy. <laughs> Not all women, but some of these women today that I like get a lost their mind. Yeah. Want to get married and stay out all night. What you get married for? That's right. That's right. Want to get married and stay out all night and run here and there with their friends? No, that's not for a married woman. No. That's not for a married woman. No. Well, I don't want no man to be over me. The Bible said the head of every man, the every, every woman, woman is the man. Is the Notice woman. it didn't says the head of every woman is just your husband. No. It says the head of every woman is the man. Is the man. Is the man. I don't get many amens on that, so I better read it. <laughs> That's right. First, First Corinthians chapter 11. I want 11. this to be good for you to think I'm making up something. Right. I'm known for giving you Bible. You're known for it. Huh? That's right. I'm known for giving you Bible. That's right. Let's read it for the hearing in pad. First Corinthians chapter 11. We're going to start at the very first verse. Follow me. Be ye followers of me. Look at the Apostle Paul. Be ye followers of me. Even as I Even also, as am, I also of am a Christ. Now I praise you, brethren. Yes. That ye remember me in all things. What is it? And keep the ordinances as I deliver them unto you. Yes. But I would have you know. Listen at this. I want you to know this. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ, the son of the living God. And the head of the woman. The head of the woman. Is the man. No, that just the head of the woman is a husband. And the head of the woman is the man. No, just a husband. The head of the woman is the man. Man is your head, period. Period. That's right. Whether you got a husband or not. The head of the woman. See, God put that in there because mm -hmm. he know every woman ain't married. That's right. That's and a woman right. may say, well, look, I ain't married yet. I ain't got no head. That ain't what God said. The head of the woman is the man. Whether you're married or not married. married. Or not. That's right. The Bible just says the head of the woman is the man. All right. No need to go shouting now. <laughs> Amen. No need to shout now, you better unless you come on back here. Unless you come on back. All right, let's go back to where we were in the tenth chapter of Mark. I want to give you multiple wife religions. Back in St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 2. All right. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him. And asked him. Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Yes. Tempting him. Tempting him. And he answered and said unto them, what did Moses command? Ah, folks Amen. love Moses. Love Moses. What did Moses command? And they said Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement. Moses mm -hmm. suffered to write a bill of to divorce. write a bill of divorce and to put her away, and you can get rid of her. And Jesus answered and said, Jesus unto them, said, for the hardness of your heart. Now Jesus gave the reason why Moses done it for the hardness of your heart. Moses done it because of the stubbornness, mm -hmm. the hardness of your heart, the wickedness. Because your heart loved flesh. He wrote you this precept. He let you have that precept. But from the beginning of what? the creation. Hey, hey, hey. He going back further than Moses now. Oh, yes. Before Moses was born. That's right. He wasn't back there in the beginning of creation. That's right. What is it? But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of creation. God made them male and female. God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Cleave to wives. Cleave to his wife. A man leave father and mother and cleave to his wives. This cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. One. His wife. Just one. His wife. Oh, W-I-F-E. His wife. Come home to one. Come back to one. His wife. Go to the restaurant with one. His wife. Go to bed with one. His wife. Eat grits with one. His wife. Eat fish with one. His wife. Cut a piece of sweet potato pie with one. His wife. That's right. Hear this. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. And what? And they twain shall be one flesh. Now, if you got more than one wife, mm -hmm. how can you be one flesh, one flesh when you don't have one flesh? That's right. That's right. How can you be one flesh with a bunch of wives or one flesh with a bunch of husbands? That's right. Have you taken note of these multi-wise religions? They always side with the men. 
that he can have a lot of wives. Yeah. They never say the women can have a lot of husbands. That's true. You ain't caught on to that yet. <laughs> That's right. You ain't caught on to that yet. That's right. Amen. That Paul Pitt buzzard already looking at your daughter. Yes, he is. Planning in advance. Go ahead. Get all the wives for the bishop. Right. But the women only can have one man. <laughs> Amen. You viewers ain't caught on to that yet. That's right. That's right. You've been sucking. Amen. You're going to give your wife to your pastor as a gift? Mm. You're going to give your daughter away? My Lord, my Lord. To your pastor? Mm. That's You're going to give your 17-year-old daughter away to your 85-year-old goat for a bishop? That's right. That's true. And you think that's God's will? My Lord. That's wicked. Oh, yes. That's why they can't stand me. Oh, yes. Get me good. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Shall a man leave father and mother and cleave to his wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. What, what they twain. They, they twain. Shall be one flesh. And so then they are no more twain but one flesh. They're no longer two. That's right. But one flesh. What therefore? It didn't say they're no longer three, four, five, six, <laughs> but one flesh. No. This is so plain. They are no longer two. Twain, Twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same matter. Yes. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife, yes, and marry another, and marry another, committeth adultery against her. No, 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 you don't. Amen. The preacher said today, you don't do that. No. Mm. Whosoever. The preacher said, trade him in. Lord. Who? You, you ever seen the used car lot? That's the way, exactly where the churches are. That's right. A used wife lot. That's right. Used. You, you don't see no used men lot. <laughs> just no. a used wife lot. That's right. That's right. You can get that wife for $15. You can get that wife for $20. Mm. You can get that wife for $30. Uh -huh. You can get that wife for $25.50. <laughs> then you can get that wife for $2 and a quarter. Oh, uh, Lord. Use wife lot. That's all these churches are. That's right. That's all these so-called synagogues are. Yes. They're nothing but a used wife lot that needs to be bulldozed down. That's right. That's right. There's always the bishop yeah. that can have all the wives. Oh, yeah. And your women are forced. Only preach one, one husband. One husband. You ain't waked up yet, <laughs> you Bible-carrying sucker. That's right. You've been deceived, you've been duped, you've been conned. That's why they want me off of the air. That's right. Because we are exposing the folly of the pulpit. Amen. You old hypocrite. Amen.